Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, back on more of this backwood, backyard fatwood. Um, this is a piece I just found down there. It's one of the ones that is starting to rot and I wanted to show you what I was doing, how, how I determined. This part here is starting to become quite spongy. So what I do, see how it's quite spongy so what I do is basically just break it up as much as I can See, it's, it's quite soft and spongy. Fill my tin up. Now part of this here, I'll show you in a sec, is not very punky at all. See this is not really punk wood as such, or not I, what I'd consider punk wood, but it's spongy enough to make reasonable punk wood, uh, charred punk wood. Fill your tin up, doesn't matter about any of that sort of stuff, just get as much as you can in there, fill your tin right up. Think ahead because you want bigger bits so you can use the method I showed you about laying it next to the stone but the little bits also can be used for the drop spark method see I'm getting down into the harder bits there now Digging down. Get it all out. Fill your tin up. Until you have your tin all full. And then then char it as per normal as you can see that's quite hard but that bit at the top there was going quite spongy so I'm gonna put that back down on the backyard let it punk out some more and this bit here what I'll do is break all this off here before I put it down and process it all up char it all and that'll go into my char tin, into my charred, charred, charred punkwood stores. And then all the hard bit goes back down to the backyard and gets the process of rotting away more. And I just keep rotating it through and get as much of this stuff as I can because um, I like this stuff because it's free and I don't have to, I don't get in as much trouble because this doesn't, this just smells like a fire. It, um, and it doesn't seem to produce as much smoke as char cloth burning. And people don't seem to be as upset about a little bit of wood being burned as far as the smell goes as far as being char cloth being burned because the cotton smell seems to upset people more but anyway i would normally collect that but i'm not going to because my tin is pretty full <sighs> anyway i thought i would show you that and um as you saw the um the punk wood that i've been charring which is exactly this 
seem to take a spark pretty easily. So yeah, it's not too bad at all. So you can do this in the backyard of a suburban backyard and get punk wood and it seems to work okay. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you a piece that I'm doing. Anyway, thanks for watching.